Good day, good day, lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. All things Rayanne, where everything happens good here. Um, I am going to sh take you all, see my nail, came off. I'm going to take you all on this journey with me on how I make my shirts. My, um, what you call it? My iron-on transfer shirts. So, you are going to see me make two shirts. Yeah. Let's go. But before we go, I used a circuit machine. This is the biggest one they have, the small one. They do have the circuit press machine, like the big press one. But I have like, I guess the next size to like that big press machine where you just close it down on the top. So yeah, I got this one and I'm going to set up my ironing board so you all can see me do my shirts. Let's go. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using this black shirt here. This is an um, a extra large shirt. I'm going to use this black shirt here. And I am going to put this design on it, which it says Woman of God. So I'm going to put this design on this black shirt here. So while I'm setting up, while my machine is heating up, um, I'm just going to Make sure I line it up perfectly. I always like to have like the cut the the neck of the shirt um hanging off the ironing board a little bit just so it just gives me like measure. I can like eyeball and measure like where I want to put it at. I always lift it up to make sure I see um where I want it to be, and then um Get all of the the wrinkles out of it. I use my hand to go across it. I'm not gonna um stick this on yet until I put the heat in um the press on there. So why it's still heating up? I don't know why it's taking forever to heat up. But while it's still heating up, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep my shirt like this for right now. Um, because I'm gonna have to iron it up here and then down here. So Stay tuned. All right, so now my machine is hot. I'm going to take it and I'm going to go across it like this. Okay. Just to make sure that I get all of the wrinkles out of this. I like to iron it up. Yeah. Press it. Like that. And then I just slide it up a little bit. So I can like hit right down here. I'm not going to iron the whole shirt. I'm just going to iron like basically the parts that I need. Which I know I don't need all the way down here. But um, I'm just going to iron it anyway. So then what else? What I'll do next. I um smooth it out with my hand. I lift it up to see where the neck collar is. Once I can eyeball that. Smooth it out some more. And then I begin to place my transfer. So I know some people use rulers and all of that. I don't. <laughs> I just eyeball it, you know. It's just like, you know, the old, you know, when, you know, grandma and auntie and uh, they know how to cook that good food. They don't use the measuring cups. They just a pinch of this, a dash of that, a spoon of this, you know, a cup of that. Just eyeball it or just cook it until it tastes good. So what I do, I know that this is right in the middle because I'm eyeballing like where the sleeves are and also where the neck at. So I'm going to pull this down just a tad bit like right here and that will be my center. And I will begin to press. I pull the sticky part off, of course. I hope this don't have me looking crazy trying to pull off the sticky part. Okay, my hands are so ashy. I pull the sticky part off. And I'll bring it down to right here. And one thing about this, I can lift it back up if it doesn't look um, centered enough for me. And then I will put it back down. But for the most part, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, and I use my hand <laughs> to measure. I get my ironing. Let me lift it up one more time. Okay, so I'm going to slide this up. 
and I'll get my press and I'll press it on. Hold on. And I'll just press it on, leave it on until it gets hot and then I will turn it on the opposite side. All right, stay tuned. Okay, sorry you guys, my camera had some problems, so yeah. Um, and I had showed my technique on how I do the flipping and all of that stuff, so I'm sorry I didn't show you on this shirt, but I will be showing you on the next shirt, okay? So let's go to the next shirt since this one is just cool. Actually, it's, it should be already cool. I'm going to show you also how I package as well, so hold on. All right, so let me just show you. How I take this off and hopefully none of the rhinestones don't come up with it. So and voila. Um you do see a couple on here. So what I'll do, I'll just take it off. And it's a spot right here. If, let me show you. This spot is missing, like right there that spot right there and it was only thank thank god it was only just three so this is how the shirt looks i'm sorry i'm <laughs> i'm lifting it up so i can see it myself so this is how the shirt looks let me back it up so you can see it and it's centered so now what i do next i am um, I turn it on the back and I normally do this like on my bed and I will um, fold it in but I'll show you with the other one because I need to put that other one so on this one so yeah so moving on to the green one all right so again I lay this shirt down So while I'm pressing this shirt, and I don't like to leave this one too long when it's the bright shirts because, of course, um, it may burn and stain my shirt. So as I'm looking at this, I'm like, okay, let me lift this up. So what I would do, because on my green and my black shirt, I didn't show you what I do. So what I would do, I would put my arm through. I would turn the shirt inside out. I would flip it over. So the back of the transfer is facing me. I'm not too concerned about the arms, you know, because I'm not trying to hit the arms. So I'm not concerned about them. But as long as I can feel where my um, 
my transfer is or my design is, that's where I will lay my press. So I don't really have to bore you all with showing you how I fold, but this is how it looks when it is packaged. So I went to Amazon and I ordered some clear. And see, this is the Gildan brand shirt that I use. So I um on Amazon. Oh, look at that now. On Amazon, um, I order um some clear bags um in different sizes. And I will fold my shirts and put them in here. So this one says fearless, as you can see. This one says bless, as you can see. God is my provider. I shall not want. I'm, I'm sorry, I shall not worry. <laughs> I like this shirt. This is that one. And I do have some ovens over there on the chair. So again, I don't want to bore you with how I fold my shirts, but this is what it looks like when it's folded. I like to fold them so that the design can be seen. You know, when you, you know, when you package things, you want them to be able to either take it out the bag and see it or unravel the um the paper and um see whatever it is that they're buying. All right. So I'm going to show you all how I peeled off on the green shirt. I'm going to turn this back inside out and flip it back over and let it cook some more um, on the original design side. So stay tuned.